questionable dominion through the spirit of faith. An ability for God to speak through you. He said you are the biological microphone by which God speaks to his own creation. God gets into you and starts walking himself. He no longer leads. He is now Ayakara. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. This is not what we're talking about. Lead to faith. Causes you to speak and declare stuff. Great faith. You speak. Unquestionable dominion through the spirit of faith. The spirit of faith. You don't have to speak. It speaks through you. There is a lady who's done. No, 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 no. She has three boyfriends. In fact, two of her boyfriends are all called Peter. I'm seeing the refrigerator now. There is a beer called Russia. Inside the refrigerator, to your left, there is a pack of grilled beef. And on this side, there are three tomatoes inside the refrigerator. We have not followed cunningly devised fireballs. Oh, yes. We were eyewitnesses of this thing. That which we have handled, which we have seen with our eyes, rubbed against. This is the word of truth. I'm teaching you to have a certain level of power. I ah. You don't know the story of miracle money. We went into Botswana there. And in Botswana, they had said, they said, put posters that angel was coming to steal your money. <laughs> ah. If my bank account would hear that story, <laughs> I mean, somebody be blessed. <laughs> How do you stand in front of the crowd and you tell them, if I be a prophet of God, let money appear in your pocket? Which pocket? Unquestionable dominion, controlling money. Oh, yes. I'll tell you a secret. Right now, we are with my son. We are sitting together tomorrow to arrange who will be the president of which country. Yeah. Mm. Unquestionable dominion. Oh, yes. We are tired of presidents that don't worship God, that don't believe in God. Instead of crying with this level of dominion. Oh, yes. Money. I was with my brother in Zimbabwe, man of God there, and just moving like this, a tire puncture. Tire puncture. Remember, tire puncture. Grab the tire like this. Pressure ended in. Pressure. Tire. Pressure. Yes. No fixing nothing. Pressure. The hand touching the tire and pressure ended. Jesus. How can you as a prophet be embarrassed by a tire? <laughs> if money can listen to you. Oh, yes. If money can listen to you. Money does not think. It doesn't feel. It doesn't see. And money appears in people's pockets. 
What about a human being who can think, who can see, who can talk? I speak to your money now. See. By the spirit of faith, I, I speak to your see. money. What's this? What's this? The spirit of faith is a stabilizing spirit. It is a stabilizing spirit. The winds, boisterous winds were hitting against that, that boat. And the Bible says, and Jesus was sleeping. Huh? It makes you calm in the presence of your enemies. You are not perturbed. You are not caught by surprise. You are at easy. The Bible says it this way. The Bible says it this way. Say they shall be like the palm tree in Lebanon. Mm. Lebanon is a windy place. And every time I minister on this Lebanon, I can feel something go out. I feel the Holy Ghost creeping on me now. I don't know about you, but I feel the Holy Ghost now. <laughs> I could feel mm. us when I read that scripture. You see, you'll be reading the scripture nicely and something hits you. You see, you are turned on in your spirit. I feel like somebody's not hearing what I'm saying. This is the reason the Bible says, awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have no knowledge of Christ. Awake to righteousness. The word awake is a vulgar word. It is the word acneifo. And the word acneifo means to arouse oneself. No, 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 no. It doesn't mean to be aroused by somebody. You arouse yourself towards righteousness. And power would happen. God will begin to speak through you. I saw it on something major, something. major. Like the palm tree in Lebanon. It's a stabilizing spirit. Unquestionable dominion. My first car. I took my card. Zero money in the car. 300 pounds in fact. Because I wanted to buy just a small car. I went to the garage. I waited. Looking at the cars. There were some broke down cars. Uh, ah, the vision of mine. Then I look at this Mercedes. I could hear it say, Come. Mm. <laughs> so we got to hear now. Hello, so we got to The spirit of faith is a hearing spirit. Oh, yes. It hears. It's a stabilizing spirit. They shall be like the palm tree in Lebanon. The palm tree in Lebanon is first to winds. Winds come against it with stones and pebbles hitting it. And the palm tree has one advantage. It is flexible. The boss, the husband said, I don't love you anymore. Don't think I'm bending, brother, because I'm coming back. Yes. My enemies talk against me, but I'm coming back. Oh, if yes. I can have only five people going like, yes, 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 You are like the palm tree in Lebanon. Oh, yes. You are not broken down. You rise. The spirit of faith is a stabilizing spirit. No matter what you say, I'm not moved. You can do nothing. I won't even reply. I don't, I don't waste my sunshine. On people who deserve my sunset. Yeah. 
Don't let your enemy live rent free in your mind. Raise the rent and evict them. Oh, yes. I don't think about them. I. One man came to me and said, there is a meeting that they have planned against you and your son. They are talking, they are talking nonsense and stuff like that. I was in the meeting and I just ran away from it. I said, relax. He said, relax? I said, relax, you will see. Huh? I said, you will see. After I said, you will see to this boy, I said, what will they see? Now I'm questioning myself, what, what, what caused you to say they will see? Then I realized this is the spirit of faith. The same thing that the angel that spoke to me and bent my lips and said, you shall speak and nobody will oppose what you say. Emeritus. They reported a week later. This guy, I don't know why he never told me. A week later, remember the bees. They were in the meeting in the room, locked it, and they began to say how they can destroy us. While they were in there, bees just came in. Uh, they didn't even know where the door was. Questionable dominion. Your enemies shall see it. Why do we face enemies? Watch this. The Bible says, No one who has left mother, father, and houses and lands will not receive a hundredfold in this life, including persecution. Have you noticed? That means prosperity has to come with persecution. But watch this. So if you're receiving persecution, with no prosperity, it's not persecution. It's just you suffering. Persecution is for people with money. I know this road does not understand me, so let me go to my road. Bring it up! I receive. <laughs> By the Spirit of God, oh, yes. which is the Spirit of faith. Oh, yes. How, men of God, how, how do I get to the Spirit of faith? Remember, it is delivered. Number one point recognize a career. Mm. They see, you see, you see they, they didn't get it. Find a career who has the spirit of faith. Find, recognize him, see him. Find a career. Because if you don't see a career, let me show you something. I want to show you something. That's what they got about. And read from verse number 11. And let's go to verse number 11. Mark chapter number 1, verse number 11. It is a driving spirit. The spirit of faith. It is a driving spirit. You don't, you, you don't even know where you are going. You just go. When you arrive there, they say, ah, you have a job here. You say, ah. You are looking for a job. You just decide, ah, let me go there. When you get there, you don't know why you are standing there. You are just standing like this. You don't know what it is. Savle tesh do. Prodogu vina tala mawoye. And there came a voice from heaven saying, Thou art my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. You see that one? It has no connection with what is about to happen. God greatly loves Jesus. But verse number 12. And immediately the, the spirit driveth him into the wilderness. Uh -uh. You just told me you love me. Now you're pushing me into the desert. You do things that people can't work out what they are. Have you not seen the dead being raised here? It says, by faith, by the spirit of faith, they subdued nations. Hey. And women received their dead back to life. You have seen it here in this house. Let me tell you something. 
You can try any other miracle you like. Don't try resurrection. The man that is known for resurrection in the world is a man called Hogan. That's his ministry. He actually gets out of his church, to go, gets out of his house, rather. He doesn't have a church. To go out looking for dead people. And guess what his success rate is? 10%. That's the men they know for raising the dead. He's only 10% successful. You don't move around looking for dead people. That was the ultimate. If Jesus resurrected from the dead and said, this is an example to show you I'm powerful and he resurrected from the dead. That was the ultimate miracle. And you see it here. And you think it is normal. It's not normal. It's the spirit of faith. The spirit of faith is a driving force. Straight away, he said, go into the wilderness. There are miracles that we can't tell you because we know your level of belief. There are other miracles we will never perform. Because we know the next morning, people are already texting each other. Fake miracle. We never do it. We kind of relax. But this year, we don't care what they will say. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. We will do unquestionable miracles, unquestionable dominion, demonstrate what it is. You can't be broke after this one. You can't, you can't. <laughs> uh, you can't be, you can't be, you can't be. Uh, you can't be broke. I, I heard a man said, Angel is broken. Ah, where, 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 where? Broke how? Sick? Which part of my body will be sick? Me. I'm, I'm at the airport just a few days ago, Heathrow Airport. And in the first class lounge, I'm with my wife there, and the headache got to my head. So you understand what I'm saying later in a few minutes. I grabbed my wife's arm like this. I said, you took. My wife said, you took what again? I realized I'm talking things I don't even know what I'm saying. I said, you took it. My wife said, what is it? I said, this is the spirit of faith. He, the Bible says, he took our infirmities. He took a precedence of tech. She said, yeah. I said, so he's taken. I said, headache, you're taken. Yeah. Unquestionable dominion. Oh, yes. <laughs> you are busy praying. Jesus, Jesus, praying. God does not answer prayer. He has never answered prayer. He will never answer prayer. The Bible says it this way. It says in the book of Isaiah, before they pray, I will answer. So what do you answer? I have not prayed. So what are you answering? Are you a slow? <laughs> you are very slow to get this. The Bible says, before they pray, I will answer. Uh, so, so before I pray, you are answering. So you don't care about my prayer then. There is a thing God answers, not prayer. And that thing happens before prayer. And if you miss that thing, your prayer will never get answers. So the best thing is to move from that ordinary level to the spirit of faith where God begins to speak through you. He begins to speak through you. Suffer, Tati, Moni, Evelyn, Tratus. 
It is a boldness and hence the spirit of faith. Jesus is walking and they grabbed him. They wanted to throw him off a cliff. They are pushing him towards the cliff. They are pushing. The Bible says he turned around and walked among them. Uh -uh. The same people that want to push you. One minute they are trying to push you, you just say, okay guys. Oh my God, so I brought to you. It's a boldness enhancer. He's up a mountain praying and gets off the mountain. And here he is looking for a boat. The Bible says, finding no boat there. Interpretation. Finding nothing there. No boat. The Bible says he looks. He looks at the banks of the river. Can't see the boat. Looks further. He sees the disciples are far off. And there is no boat here. He says, uh, what do I do? Do I call people? So they can find me, but say, ah, forget it. I'll walk on water. <laughs> ah! What happened to viscosity? What happened to the molecular density of water? What happened to physics? What happened? He ignored it. The man we seek, standing next to him, no eyeball. He takes soil, forms an eyeball. He spits on him. Do! See. Uh uh. The spirit of faith. Ha 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 ha. Le ya sai. I see. Do you know how the prophecy of, of Donald Trump as the president came to me? I was walking. I said, uh uh. In front of me. Donald Trump, I'm seeing Donald Trump. Walking naturally. Donald Trump was in America. And I'm seeing him in front of me. And God said, do you see this man here? He's the president. I said, hmm? President. And then we, we went with my son to New York. I said, let's go and stay at the Trump Tower, Trump, Trump Hotel. Because he's going to be president. That's where we stayed for a week. Daniel 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the prophets and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basest of men. On the 28th of February, 2016, in a live Sunday service broadcast around the world live on Good News TV, eight months before the presidential elections, Prophet Hubert Angel gave the word of the Lord concerning the 2016 American elections, which was contrary to what everyone had predicted. I was in the presence of God, and God began to speak to me even with regards to, to the world as you see it. I saw these great things in another way. Because I once said I'm not going to do this anymore, but uh, God says uh, you are not the one to choose. This is going to be a race of two people. And sometimes black people just hear what the others say. Trump is not good for you. And the black people say yes. And they are already voting for the wrong person. So sometimes a country can choose to go behind a Clinton when God wants a Trump. Notice something. One, this was even before the nominations of the party candidates. Yet the prophet of God was already speaking of a two-way race between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. This is going to be a race of two people. Two, Prophet Angel went on to mention that most black people would vote for the wrong person. 
CNN later confirmed that 88% went for the losing candidate, Hillary Clinton. It is of paramount importance to note that this prophecy was given even before Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump were nominated by their respective parties. And sometimes black people just hear what the others say. Trump is not good for you. And the black people say yes. And they are already voting for the wrong person. CNN later confirmed that 88% went for the losing candidate, Hillary Clinton. Three, notice how the prophet mentioned that it would be a two-way race where people would try to support Hillary Clinton, and yet God is choosing Donald Trump. This is when every pollster and pundit were not expecting Donald Trump to win even the Republican nomination let alone the presidential election. This is going to be a race of two people. So sometimes a country can choose to go behind a Clinton when God wants a Trump. On the 17th of July, 2016, five months after the 28th of February, 2016 live prophetic service, which was almost four months before the presidential election. Our offices were inundated with calls from people complaining about why Prophet Angel supported Donald Trump, who was accused of hating black people, like the prophet who is black. The prophet responded in a live Sunday service on the 17th of July, 2016. These were his words. Can go around and hit me who you want. I talk what I hear, not what you like. And then Prophet Angel added more clarity to who God's choice was to win the election and become the President of the United States of America, despite being accused of hating people of color. You can move around, get angry all you like. Why is God doing like this? He hates us. Uh, Trump likes white people. That's God's choice. And confirm that Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. To all Republicans and Democrats and independents across this nation, I say it is time for us to come together as one united people. It's time. I pledge to every citizen of our land that I will be president for all Americans. And this is so important to me. Disclaimer. It should be noted that the prophetic only speaks what it hears and confirms the decree of God and sometimes goes against the will of the people. The prophet is simply a vessel, not the originator of the message. Supernatural power of the believer. Discover the secrets to growing in the five dimensions of God's power. Order your copy of this best-selling book with over 100,000 copies sold by Hubert Angel from the Amazon Kindle store or visit our online shop at www.hubertangel.org. Thank you, our partners and friends, for making it possible to bring this message to you. Those wishing to partner with Hubert Angel, please visit www.hubertangel.org. A woman walked into my church and she said, the, the doctor had told her that the child, the, was it the, the baby boy, right? The baby boy was dead. And the other baby was still alive and it was a girl. And she said, there would be divorce in my marriage if I give birth to a baby girl. This is Africa. 
So, and the doctor says, I've got twins. But the baby boy is dead now, and they want to remove that, and the operation will be really, really dangerous. I said, all right, come, I'll pray for you. As she was walking towards me, I said, you will not have a funeral, but you have one child. Uh -uh. Uh, even me, I didn't know what, what that was. I said to the singer, keep singing. And I'm trying to figure out, what did I say? I said, you are going to have no funeral, but you have one child. I tried to explain to the Lord. When I was trying to explain to the lady that what I was trying to say, I said, I want you to understand this. Uh, <laughs> I was bringing myself into more trouble. I said, I want you to understand this. You have a baby boy, uh, uh, another edition. The doctor said the baby boy is dead. The girl is alive. We are going to remove the body of this one, the fetus of the boy. And I said, no. And after I said it, I started wondering, what is this? Then I realized the spirit of faith God spoke through me. Went to the hospital for the, on the day of, that they were doing the operation. It was the following day. It was actually a cousin who brought her to church. And when they got there, went to the hospital. The hospital checks before they start doing the operation. They checked. There was only one child in there. And it was a boy. The baby girl, nobody knows. Now imagine... How do you speak such a thing in a normal way? How? You can't. It is to be another force forcing you to speak. It is a speaking spirit. These are dimensions. There is a difference between a level and a dimension. The disciples came to see Jesus and said, hey, we could not cast out a demon. Jesus said, this kind of demon comes out by fasting and prayer. He was not talking of dimensions. They are standing like this. And he looks on the mountain and he sees chariots. He says, open the eyes of my servant. He saw chariots around Elisha. If they are standing close like this, where can you fit chariots? That means when his eyes were opened in the spirit, he realized that although in the natural we are close, with, there is a distance. The reason you can not see that there is a difference is due to spiritual reality distortion field it's like a gap between the two of us that makes you not to know the reality of the spirituality timing when we started miracle money we opened a dimension of money so that money can be found for those in level i stood in the middle of nigeria i went to emo state i am from emo 2004 towards 2005 this woman died october she died and your father died, died. his two brothers died your uncle died exactly your in-law died yes i cancel every premature death Are you interested in prophecy? Yes, I am. You see, look at this man, he's taller than me. This is... Look, look, he's taller than me, look at this. No, don't say, hey, you are tall. Here he is. Receive the spirit of faith wherever you are. I receive I the Lord ministered to me Shaman. that you are a man of God it's true you are a man of God it's true and I saw German written on your forehead like German 100% true. true I saw the name Tom Tom it's true Tom Vendler or it's Vendler true. like W my name is Tom Carol. my name is Tom yeah. Yeah. Vendler my name is Tom Listen to me. And I saw a ministry that you are building. It's true. In fact, people call you prophet. Yes, it's true, prophet. Major, do it. Major, Major, do it. Yes. Major, do it. I saw 18 October. Yes. 1981. Yes, my birthday, prophet. It's my birthday, prophet. Major, do it. In fact, God delivered you from a very big issue. Yes. This was like, in fact, when you grew up, instead of basketball, you went for volleyball from hey. 1996. 
Meta, do it! From you Hanky. don't know me and you know everything. upon the house is what you should submit to. I listen. Because even when it comes to the prophetic, you are not there yet. And you are trying to show people that there is God who speaks. It's true. But out of the anointing upon this house, yes. you shall leave this place a different man. Yes, I listen. I don't know what I saw. I saw like something like Collier, Collier or Collier. Yes, my, it's my firstborn son. But with an, like a, an ex-wife or something like, there it's is an ex-wife. I saw something yes. like Anka, Anka or something. Anke, it's true. Anke is her name. Yeah. For me, Emeritus. is about to happen to you. Overflow! So if you the even yes. Papa, do it. So you were, it was actually a very successful career of, of um, volleyball. It's but true. what began to happen is you, are, you, were, you began to use drugs. Yes, it's true. It's true. And one day in your house like this, you just had an experience and said, this is the, the last time, stop it. Hey. <laughs> yes, 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 it's good. It's good. Emeritus, my father, and, my and father. The, big, the problem that you had with your wife for you to divorce was never to do with, uh, with, uh, with the drugs. It was everything to do with faith. <laughs> I love you. It is good. <laughs> it is good. Emeritus, I'm my father, my child, child professor of theocracy. Yes. And the Lord minister to me something. Even your mother, you were, you were praying for your mother. It's because true. you believe in Christ. She was believing in voodoo. <laughs> it's true. Retired professor. What can you say? What can I say? It's true. Oh, 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 oh. Retired professor of big Brother, you have a problem. Your biggest problem is there is like a... Uh, like a court thing, like a yes. child, something like you're fighting with somebody yes. about a child. Yes, huh? it's true. Yeah, I have a yes. case. Yes. It is true. I'm in a current case mm -hmm. with my child. This is a child. Yes. It's like your, your wife doesn't even want you to see the child. Yes, it is true. Safi Doble. Prophesy, Papa. In fact, you owe money, 13,000 to be exact. You owe money. You owe money. Ah, yes. Wait. Yes. <laughs> Defeating the Demon of Poverty by Hubert Angel. How to break free from the spirit of lack. Hard copy available now from the Good News Store app. Or order from Amazon Kindle or at www.hubertangel.org. Hubert Angel Ministerial Association. For mentorship, teaching, and impartation for those in ministry or those who have a calling, register at www.uama.co. Thank you, our partners and friends, for making it possible to bring this message to you. Those wishing to partner with Hubert Angel, please visit www.hubertangel.org.